Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Virgo. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a twin flame soulmate connection type of reading for Virgo. Oh, let's see. Something is suddenly changing. There's some shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany towards something, a sum up or transformation here. Virgo, what about your person? Ah, oh, there might be heartbreak. Deeply hurt, sad, separated, breakup. They could be going through a breakup. They're feeling lost. They're grieving. Oh, and they like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date you. Now, you may have met this person already. This may be somebody from your past. This could be somebody that you don't know that sees you and likes your energy. What about yours? Let's get your energy a little bit more on whatever's going on here for the lightning. For your energy, something's electric. <laughs> you might be able to feel this person's energy uh, when they're close by before you see them. Ah, the runner. This is a twin flame. Okay, that explains the lightning here. Runner in a codependent relationship. So they could be running from that. They could be running from codependency. They might be trying to heal that. They may have fear of intimacy or they're listening to their ego or you are. So take it, flip it, switch it, however you need to have it for it to make sense to you or resonate in your reading. Okay, and your combined energy with this person. <laughs> you may have run from this person. It might have been a little scary, um, this connection, because it's so intense with the energy, okay? When you feel close to this person or you feel their energy, Someone wants to express their love to you, a message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know it. So somebody might be reaching out to you if they haven't done so already. Depending on where you are in your timeline for this reading, remember this is a general reading, so it may not resonate exactly for everyone, so just take whatever messages apply to you that resonate with you, okay? Let us look at your intentions. What are your intentions here, Virgo, towards this person? Whoa, okay, we got a few things. And I'm going to take this card here. Ah, you may be saying in your communication that you're looking for some truth here in this communication from this person, or you're going to get some communication from this person ah so this is why you may have separated from this person this may be someone from your past there was chemistry but there was separation because you felt there was unrequited love it was just one-sided you knew what you wanted they did not it could be as easy as that or you felt that they would not give you what you needed okay so let us look at let's see we're gonna put that we're gonna put that there so you're you're wanting some truth here i feel like you feel they were distracted by someone else perhaps maybe they were already in a connection and may have lied to you i don't know why i'm saying that but that is what i'm feeling here okay so we got three cards for your person Ah, they need to release their ex. Uh-huh. So stay optimistic. They're trying to stay optimistic about you, but they need to release their ex. Now, when they do that, because I feel like the ex may try to retaliate, um, they're going to have to pay attention to those red flags about their ex, because I feel like their ex maybe knows about you. I kind of feel you're their ex. This could be you, remember. Your ex you need to release if this is not your side. Um, pay attention to the red flags about your ex because I feel like they may be jealous of your person or your person's 
ex is jealous of you. Okay, let's get a card from here because since we had that knockover on that one, let's see what comes up for you. Ah, you're working on this. So, <laughs> I feel like you're working on releasing this X and you may have already seen these red flags. And you're trying to stay optimistic about the connection with your person or your person is feeling that way about you. Yeah, I'm really feeling like this is your person here on this side. They are seeing what they need to see. I kind of feel like that may be why you separated because you knew about this ex or the person they are with when they talk to you. You knew there was someone else in their life or you could feel it. I kind of feel like you knew there was someone else that they're with maybe they weren't being completely truthful with you I kind of feel like they're trying to stay optimistic about you but this ex is filling their head with bullshit they're paying attention to that now and they are working this out and that might be why you're going to receive a call here soon let's see codependency they're learning about codependency here so when we saw this runner here on your part you may have been a bit codependent could have been addictions um i feel like i feel like you've you've dealt with that already and you may have been running from your person who was codependent and they may be working on that so take a however it resonates for you let us look at your intuition about this person. What is your intuition telling you about this person here? Let us see. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energies bring you better happiness for those around you. Wow, nice. Okay, and we have a number. Wow, this is so tiny. Looks like five. It looks like a change here. I'm just going to get my glasses. Hang on. Okay, let's see what other messages we have for you with your intentions here. So you're having simple acts of kindness. So you're being kind to this person. Let's see. Take a chance on love. When we have our lives oh when when we do our lives are changed forever when we have love oh that's so true love is the highest frequency get to know each other learn to meet one another oh learn to meet another's need for love so everybody has their need to be loved and perhaps you weren't giving that person what they needed as well we have 44 that's ascendant masters we have five again so we have four four five five or five five four four those might be angel numbers that you could have looked up for another message for you from your angels ancestors and spirit guys that are trying to tell you something if you are looking to get messages from them they're only here <clears throat> to help guide you to your highest and greatest gifts your your way through your best life they're here to help guide you for that so if you're able to speak to your angels ancestors and spirit guides on <clears throat> your passed over loved ones that maybe you converse with um, I kind of feel like you you make answers to your questions through angel numbers so Virgo that's beautiful so let's see what your person's intuition is telling them it's saying to get to know one another here take a chance on love and be kind to this person on your side. So let's see what it says for them. <clears throat> there's a need to say something here. I kind of almost feel like, Virgo, that there's some type of 
truth that you two are not being fully truthful about how you actually feel about one another. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So perhaps you did something to this person and they're kind of sore about it or they're kind of feeling bad for whatever they may have done to you. And that is number six. That's restoring something to cooperation and harmony once again. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So maybe a commitment was hard for this person or they weren't sure how much you were committed to this. And so they're considering this foundation. This is number five. So we have six, five for your person. And then we have act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you. So you always consider them in your decision making. I'm kind of feeling with that. Number eight. And that's taking action to resolving something with this person. Okay, so there needs to be some uh, something here to resolve between the two of you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. All right, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible, number four. So what did we have for numbers again? We had six, five, eight, four, six, five, eight, four, six, eight, six, five, eight, four. <laughs> All right, for your person, and then you can also put that four in for yours as well. There's only four numbers that go into the angel numbers, so you can flip the numbers around to get different messages. All the same messages or the same numbers to get different messages so let's see what we have for how they're feeling about you let's see how are they feeling about you let's look at you how you're feeling about your person first how are you feeling about your person <laughs> love begins nice number one so that's a new beginning there's potential here about a new opportunity so let's see what we got other than that ah you may have seen the light there's number 10 here and you closed out a cycle it looks like for this new beginning because everything has to end before something new can come in so let's look you may be resting trying to rejuvenate or you're going on maybe a vacation of some kind number four that's structure stability and manifestations and there's a partnership and alliance here somewhere maybe with this person number three and that's there's growth there's great creativity and growth so let's see about your person now how are they feeling about this love connection you're willing to give it a shot Let's see, honesty, okay. So you both need to be honest about your feelings. Maybe they were and maybe you weren't. Maybe you ran from this because it was so intense. Maybe you were a little afraid of what you were feeling. Wow, material harvest. Your person may have some material harvest that comes in for them. They are getting fruition or they're, I feel like they're meditating and manifesting what they want to happen here there may have been some type of mental conflict here with something maybe with their person with this breakup and now they're trying to get their foundation and achievements together where there's a foundation and structure um, that stability and it could be for manifesting a house of some sort here and a family and rainbows so something beautiful let's see what you're both feeling ah you're both willing to persevere persevere sorry persevere <laughs> anyhow <laughs> i don't know what goes on with me <laughs> sometimes <laughs> all right so what's your actions here what are your actions towards this love union oh, yeah, something there 
habits, new beginnings, desire, sudden increase, clever, resourceful, sex. <laughs> wow, I don't know what that is anymore. It's been so long. <laughs> Procreation. All right, so let's see what else we get here. Airplane. They may live at a distance here, maybe a long distance. Travel. Maybe they're going to travel to see you. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe that's where you meet this person. Things will work out. Taking off, leaving something behind. Internal guidance systems. Uh, there's Aquarius here with number six. That's trying to restore something here. So this may be you. You may live at a distance from this person. You may be traveling. This may be where you run into this person. Wow. Overflowing abundance. Wow. Tears of sorrow or joy. Release. Fulfillment. Chasing after something. Emotional release. So you may have been chasing somebody and you just, I feel like you just released that. You're not willing to do that. Maybe they played a little bit of games with you. Uh, mind manipulation. Let's see. You're reflecting and assessing, gaining knowledge here about something here when it comes to some action towards this. You may have already let all this go. Let's see. What's your person's actions towards this union? What's your person's actions here okay we got a couple things here all right so this person me uh, new beginnings spontaneous carefree tender new perspective number four on stability perhaps they kind of oh this is <laughs> soulmates lovers union courtship dating attraction Wow, two of a kind, alluring. Je ne sais quoi. I don't know if I said that right. Pisces energy here. And it says uh, flamingos, nice. And then we have moon, intuition and subconscious. Romance, affection, recognition. Divine feminine on the right here. So this may be a person is a feminine on the right and if you're the feminine then this person is your person you may you may see yourself more in your person side because that's how I'm reading it is the right side is your person but if you are the feminine the left side might be more your person okay so take it however it resonates for you and what's the combined energy for action here oh public venues Maybe you go on a date. Oh, yeah, a date. Communi community, outdoors, playing the field. So perhaps this is where you'll meet somebody. It's some beautiful park here or some public venue. Looks like um, a golf course type of looking setting here. Maybe your person plays golf. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What is your true heart's desires towards this person here Whoa. okay that's not gonna happen too many and just a couple okay that's way too many again i am gonna keep that one it was kind of further away it says soulmate so this is that comfy type of best friends okay all right, so we have soulmate. Your soulmate uh, is already in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh, <laughs> wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course and look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So you may need to have a look at yourself as well as whatever this person is making you feel maybe you're just friends with this person at first let's see here true heart's desire here true heart's desire for your person wow this is a sacred union here romance 
reflecting. And you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So your person may be feeling that heartbreak right now uh, from a breakup possibly here. And this may be a recent breakup they're going through in order to um, leave behind whatever's not good for them to come towards you. Now, they may be reflecting on you. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And romance is here. Cupid's arrow strikes. This is a sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. That's beautiful. So let's see what is your combined true heart's desire. Yes, you both need to surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. I did just say that. You have to let go of the old to get the new. And let's see here. We're not always meant to be with just one person. We're meant to learn and grow as we grow up. And we're meant to learn certain lessons here. Sometimes we're with somebody for a short time to learn a lesson. And sometimes it's for longer. And sometimes it's for lifetimes. As long as you're growing, evolving, and learning from one another as you are in that relationship. Oh, this person might do a new career in parental care. So you may meet this person at a hospital, at, a, um, at an older folks home. Let's see, this may be you. Let's see about your person. Sentimental feelings for you. They may be religious or spiritual. They may volunteer at where you work. Maybe that's how you meet them. And there's an end of an era here for this person. I feel it has something to do with that X and those red flags that they're seeing that you're working on right now. What's this combined energy here? Because these are your outside forces. And this may be what's brought you together or what people have said to maybe make you think about a certain way that's tried to influence you in some way, shape, or form. But I feel like this is how you guys meet. Spirit might be influencing this. Ah, there might be some self-employment here for you or your person. Let's see, what is that you don't see coming? What don't you see coming here? What don't you see coming here? Ooh, that's, that's a lot, but we'll take it. Oh, there you're going to get a message in the bottle. Number six. No place like home. Number five. And serendipity. Number nine. Fruition. So that was six, five, and nine. You might want to look up those numbers. Whoa, okay. And for your person, there's some building box here with the number 10, something completed with the number 10 there for something new to come in. They're going to build on this. And this is number eight. Happy, happy. <laughs> that serendipity here and that happiness. Let's see, for your person, they want to go the distance with number 11. This is your ascended masters are trying to have this person see this. And there's going to be a lot of peace with the number five here. That's beautiful. A lot of peace. There's going to be change between you two where there's going to be some beautiful energy here. Peace of mind. And... Oh, you're getting a leg up from spirit here towards this person, number seven, which is reflecting, assessing, getting some knowledge. Maybe there was something you didn't know about this person, and you're going to find out. You know, you don't see it coming, but it's going to come. You're going to see something in the way you're meant to see it, I feel. What is the lessons maybe that you and your person have already learned or that you're needing to learn here? For you, for your lessons. Let's see. I kind of feel like you may have already learned something here. You may have all been all tied up from a heartbreak yourself from this person, but you're an angel of strength. So you've pulled through this. I feel like you've healed already. Yeah, five, 
nine and five five nine five that might be a message for you did I say what your person's numbers were 10 8 11 and 5 so and 7 there we go and so we have 5 9 5 for you and let's see what your person for their lessons that one wants to come six appreciation maybe giving thanks or appreciating things in their life Less, or appreciating you let's see maybe you didn't feel appreciated by this person or they didn't appreciate you six we have ten third chakra archangel chamel okay and your third so <coughs> excuse me your third chakra is your solar plex this is your self-belief this is your knowing yourself your confidence and a clear feeling about yourself maybe you didn't appreciate your own self or your person didn't <coughs> maybe this they didn't believe in themselves at the time when it was time for you guys to come together they may have felt less than and there may have been a lot of hostilities in their energy at the time. They could have been pulling on your energy. They could have felt like a vampire, like an energy vampire at the time because of what was going on in their life. Yeah, there was some anxiety here between the two of you here for lessons. Um, that could be they're feeling anxious without you. You could be feeling anxious without them. I feel like <clears throat> with nine here this is gonna be some type of attainment and fulfillment here I feel like they may be having a lot of things going wrong in their life they might be feeling that karma as a lesson because maybe what they did to you or what you did to them take it how it resonates but there was some type of anxiety I feel like there may be anxiety about coming to see you <clears throat> Let's see, what's your, what's Spirit's advice here before we do the outcome? I'm going to take those messages for you. So what's your outcome, or not your outcome, your Spirit's advice, excuse me. Spiritual understanding, so you're getting to know what spirit, spirituality is, or this could be your person, of course. This is um, understanding spiritual truths, and I feel like, what does it say? Archangel Raziel. I am bringing you historic information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So definitely understanding. Oh, you might get a brilliant idea here. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action and bring your idea to fruition. And then we have courage. So Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So maybe this person, maybe you do something this person may not like when it comes to spirituality or something along those. Maybe they don't believe in what you believe. And I feel like for you to be with this person, they're going to have to be okay with that in order for this to come together or have some type of understanding of what you do or how you are when it comes to that let's see what is your spirit's advice for your person i got one more please one more let's just pull one out gentleness so they may have to have some need of being gentle with your energy or i kind of feel like being gentle all around yeah with themselves and you and to surround themselves with people that are gentle in situations energies and environments so let's see remember who you are so maybe they're remembering who they once were or who they need to be I feel like they may have lost self here they may have lost themselves along the way when they were in a relationship maybe they were putting on a mask throughout that relationship and they weren't being true to themselves or who they truly are 
Let's see, Archangel Michael, you're powerful and loving and a creative child of God. You are very loved. So spirit loves this person or you, depending on which side you are on here. Oh, and prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So we have a manifester here. Now this may be you, this may be this person, and maybe you manifest together to bring in your prosperity here. Wow, that's beautiful and powerful. Let's see what spirit has for the two of you here. All is well, Archangel Jamel. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. <laughs> nice. So something here, you're going to be blessed with somebody or this union is going to be blessed. I kind of feel like whatever this is, they're going to be provided for. Your spirits are looking after you. Let's see what your outcome is right now. What's the outcome in your life right now? Now this may not have happened yet. You may not have traveled to see this person yet. Maybe you're going on vacation soon in the next month or so or in the next couple months here. Let's see, this is for you, your outcome. Oh, there will be some type of courtship here. Lovely, I like it for you. And there may be someone of bad health here. Maybe you get the flu. Maybe it's simple as um, food poisoning. <laughs> you know, like it might be something less serious. It could be something more serious for a mature man in your life. This could be you if you're this mature man, or this could be a mature man in your family. Could be a friend. We have four, three, five. Let's see. How about your person? What's going on right now for your person? community so that's growth so there might be something creative or some type of group that you're with or your person's with maybe you know somebody in this group oh there's a child involved in something here somebody knows something about a child here in their community oh unexpected income and being on the pathway we have eight and nine here Okay, so what do we have for numbers for you, for your person? So that's three, nine, eight, nine. Wow. So there might be some unexpected income here when it comes to a child. You're on, your person's on their path or they're getting on the path here when it comes to you. This courtship's going to come in, and you may meet this person, like I said. You might meet them at the hospital with this parental care, and then now there's bad health when it comes to a mature male. So this may be where you meet this person. They may have won the lottery or some unexpected income. Now it's income, so it may be something that comes in every month for them. Let's see what the bottom of the deck here. Oh, marriage, my goodness. So you're definitely gonna get married. Wow. <clears throat> With number three, this is growth. Things grow into some type of marriage with you and this person. They get on the path with you. They may have a child. You may have children. Wow, I feel like the two of you together with your combined incomes that may be that unexpected income that maybe you haven't <clears throat> had where you're going to be able to do more things together because of your combined incomes here. Wow, and marriage, wow, there is gonna be a courtship first. So maybe you start off as friends and maybe it gets into something more. I want to see about this codependency here. Let's crack the deck. Wow, soulmate. Wow, this is your soulmate. <laughs> so, wow, that's beautiful. This is a sacred union. So, let's see about your blessings or challenges on the bottom of the deck here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get there. Lover's card came out. Wow. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Wow. 
But the lovers, I said, Gemini, Gemini, this is communication. This is a divine love. This is attraction and harmony. It's beautiful. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The sun. <laughs> now with the sun card, that is all about abundance, joy, success, sex, all areas of your life that you're going to be very happy about. This is going to bring a lot of happiness to you. Now, this is your after tarot. So let's see what's going to happen after tarot here. After this lover's card and sun card. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you might fight for this or your person is fighting for this right now for this to come in or this may be something you both fight for to keep yeah because this is already have this this may be something you fight to keep secret keep <laughs> kind of feeling secretive maybe you don't tell everybody about this situation at first i feel like you keep it on the down low try to keep it hush hush yeah wow this is beautiful virgo i really enjoyed doing your reading today there's a lot of love love calls you're going to get communication with this person. It looks like you know who this person is. And if you don't yet, you soon will. Let's look at your, uh, your time cards. Let's see. When is the right moment for your person to come in to meet you? Hmm. Enjoy time six days to six weeks that's not very long from now <laughs> and this is that restoring and cooperation and harmony here so let's see time out reflect and relax and enjoy is what number six is all about i really like that this is completing something finalizing something being in the flow and letting go so I really like that for you. Let's look at your sign as Virgo, time to harvest, collect value, conclusions, what to improve, enjoy. There's no discussion necessary. I feel like there's such a pull in energy that you don't even need to say anything and you feel comfortable around this person. There's that enjoying even just silence just being with each other and being in each other's energies so it's such a beautiful like soulmate is that comfy easy best friends they're like your soul tribe that safe comfy deep warm i love it so let's see it's almost going too fast one day one week so it could be between one to six days one week to six weeks that you might meet this person. This is, I'm feeling that love. It says, take the time and use love spiritually here. So I kind of feel like that highest frequency that there is. And number one, go inward, develop your vision of what you want in your life here. That's so important. So, and we have Aries. So maybe your person is in Aries or you have Aries in your placements. You can look up the numbers 2103 and 2004. That is the Aries season, um, when it starts, when it ends. But this is, this could be angel messages that you might need to hear. And Aries says, event or decision affects you right now. Spring into action. There's a new perspective or use your intuition towards something. So you need to have that vision of some sort here. This is that time out to reflect and relax and enjoy. Number one here, go inward, develop that vision, take the time. I like it. We have 116 or 611. And what's on the bottom of the deck here? Because this could happen, let's see, one week, one month, six days, six weeks, one day, one week. And it might feel like it's going really fast, but there's so much love here. There's the love call. They want to express some type of love. They're surrendering. You're surrendering. Wow. It's almost going so quickly because it may just feel like two peas in a pod. It's like like you knew each other like you know 
you've known each other for lifetimes is kind of what I'm getting. Like, you don't know how you know each other this good or if this is somebody you do know. It's like, it's like you, when you get together, it's almost like they're a friend zone. I'm getting that friend zone. I keep getting friend zone with certain um, readings where maybe you were just friends at one point. Maybe you were married or they were married or you got your cross crossing your past just never happened where one was good and the other one wasn't you know uh, where you were able to match up on your energy or the timing timing it seems like timing had a thing wow Scorpio so this may be somebody that has Scorpio um, in their chart you could you both could 2410 and 2211 that is that starting and ending of Scorpio season but you can look those numbers up put the eight in there as well same with Aries put another one in there heal the wounds so eight weeks to eight months this person may have been trying to heal this could be you where you've for the last eight months you've been healing or the last eight weeks Maybe even between that time, you've taken time to heal. And what we have for Scorpio, heal the wounds, starting over, stay confident within the process. And then we have with number eight, flow, take action, and burst forth. And yeah, that's so beautiful. So healing wounds, uh, you could be healing things together here. It could be this codependency or addictions of some sort that we have here. Could be even be just a food addiction. Like it could be just something small or something bigger. But whatever it is, I feel that's healed now. That there's take you've taken the time to do that. So wow. So between eight well, it could be between one day to eight months, you may meet this person but i kind of feel that they're healing here i feel like it's much quicker than that um one day to one week to six weeks so that's that's not very long that's only a month and a half from now so if you're planning on going on vacation um maybe you end up meeting this person along the way and there's going to be a courtship here this is beautiful i really like this for you virgo so please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the tribe if you aren't already. And take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you guys all next time. All right, later.